Hello and welcome to Blackout TV. I'm Sunny Starmia here with Flood co-casting. We have John on stream. Flood, how are you today? I'm doing quite well. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. Uh, now today we have for you an ETF2L Highlander Nations Cup. We're in Season 2 now and it's a match between Austria and the USA. Now this this, we're still in the group stages, so uh, this is a group stages map on Cof Pro Viaduct, and I believe the second map will be CP Gravel Pit. What do you, you think of this map and of yeah. the team's flood? Well, this map obviously is quite this is quite small, so it's really favourable if teams want to use Crits Creek, which might be very interesting to watch. Um, I think that if Austria gets some decent crits out there. Lower ping will obviously give them quite a bit, quite a bit of an advantage, but mm -hmm. you can't, you just can't forget that USA DM that they've got playing top plot. Yeah, we'll definitely see uh, some of this come into play. I really wonder because I'm looking at some of the pings, and we've got Max there, that uh, one of the best snipers in UGC NA plat. He's currently sitting on 190 ping. Yeah, of course, it, it'll help him shooting through walls, but I, if he's got a very competent sniper against him. I believe that's Tommy for Aust Austria, and it'll just be interesting to see how it does. Of course, Max is renowned for his sniping, but we'll, I, I presume he's gotten used to his ping by now. We'll just see how yeah. it affects him. Now, the roster, I'm actually, I'd be scared of the roster from the USA if they weren't on an EU server, because they've got some pretty high-level players there. I'm talking like top 10 UGC teams at least, and they've got some Sixers players thrown in there, yeah. just to uh, make it scarier. But we've also got some nice names over on red. Actually, why don't we just go over the rosters? Yeah, I think we should go through the USA one first, um, seeing as I'm visiting. Um, on Scout for USA, we have Ruin. For Soldier for, D for USA, we've got DJC playing. Um, there's Umpire that's putting cup. Zalox is playing Demo. Um, Arthur's playing Heavy. Sigafu is playing Engineer, Sniper is Max, the, the Overseer will be playing Medic, and of course everyone's favourite spy, Stabby Stabby, will be finishing up that lineup. Would you like to go through Austria for us? It would be a pleasure. Now we have Private Meter on Pyro, we have Met Krieger on Doubleman, Manny on Engineer, Wainzi on Spy, Riving on Heavy, Kuferi will be giving out the heals, Honey Badger tagged up as HB today will be on Soldier, Payne is on Scout, and Tommy is on Sniper. Yeah, now, it looks like oh, they're ready, good ready to fun. Yep, they have been called at the moment. And uh, we will see USA on blue and uh, we'll see Austria on red here as we come up to the first mid fight. Now, this game mode is played first to three overall caps or best out of five. We take for the mid fight flood. Yeah, at the moment you're seeing a level a mini sentry being set up. Both soldiers going for bombs, but HB just getting rejected immediately. You also see quite a few casualties coming out for red as USA doesn't really suffer any sort of damage, they, and Austria is just bleeding players right now with the health not looking good for those remaining, and not being Indeed. comfortable mid to USA. Yeah, right now Austria are only two up with their engineer and scout, things are definitely not looking good for them, whereas the USA have only lost DJC, who was playing soldier, so at the moment the Overseer has got 100%, I believe that's, yeah, that is Ubercharge there. And whereas Kufiri is only on 15%. Yeah, a usual common strat for this sort of point would be to make sure, just to try and force but, and keep your med medic building further back, but it doesn't look like it's going to do that. And immediately suffer the consequences. Max planting a very nice bullet right into the heavy's brain, and he gets another one at their demo, and that's really going to slow down their push at the moment, just leaving them really stranded. And it looks like it's just going to go back to spawn. Yeah, I don't think they're going for a pusher. They were bleeding out, but I have me just trying to force the pot because there's no way that Austria can go into them when or and mid, win the mid fight definitely if they don't uh, get the force. Now you can actually see lots of USA are getting so aggressive. Uh, they're going really deep into the enemy team. In fact, the Overseer is holding with her heavy in the lunch box. You can see Sigafu getting taken down by Manny as he did get a bit overextended. You can see Tommy there with the mid air air shot on uh, DJC. Yeah, he's not going to feel great about that one. But as you can see, the USA are holding really, really far forward. And obviously it's just not being touched by anything. There's just walls of players in front of her. And it's just going to keep circling back and forward. And now it's going to be 100% versus 100%. So we'll see what unfolds here. 
Yeah, the benefits of holding so far forward is it forces the enemy Uber oh, really Kefell early. In fact, yeah, Kifiri, they're dropping to a headshot from Max and lots of uh, Austria bleeding out with that. In fact, they're only five up at the moment and you can see Honey Badger getting yeah. taken down as well. The USA are just swarming all over Austria's house right now. They're not even letting them come out of this spawn yard. Manny and Payne getting uh, chipped off as well. One thing to note that is during that Wines, he actually managed to get a pick on the USA Heavy. And even though they lost the heavy, they still managed to just hold hold Austri Austria back for some, so long. Yeah, it's it Austria's uh, coordination. You can tell by that dropped Uber and then the bleeding players that they're not pushing really as a team, which is what you do get with these mixed uh, Highlands teams. Now you can see Austria pushing in through the high ground on the cliff, and I have been they might be able to catch this, although lots of them are so very low right now. You can see that Dalox there is spamming sticks from behind the point, and they have actually managed to put off Austria with Met Krieger going down, and as well as Manny, so that's uh, two classes that could do a lot of damage. Tommy there taking down Dalox. And the Uber has been popped by Austria onto mid. Yeah, and I think I'm, I believe that the obviously has just popped her Uber as well, and there's not a lot of time left, and they're just being played. Stabby Stabby does take down Kafel, which is a very nice pick, just going to leave him with barely anything to contest this point, and they're just going to play down the point, and then I believe that's going to be first round to USA, as it is. Yeah, that was looking so very solid there by the USA. There was only really one point where they looked like they were in trouble, which was at the end. They're playing with confidence, even without the ping. Let's see if Austria can pull it back for the second game. Yeah, as we move into this mid here, you can see that Zalox has gotten up really fast and putting quite a lot of damage down onto his opposing Demoman. There's spam flying everywhere, but HP goes down so fast just trying to play really aggressive. and. And it just seems to be deflating with spam at the moment. I am the Austrian medic has switched to Grits Greek, and there are players being just being lost on blue as well. Yeah. Putting cup goes down, but it just looks like the US is just going to push them right back out. Med Krieger being the first cash for Austria, that is definitely not what you need. You need your Devil Man up if you're gonna run crit screen. You see right now that Kufuri is holding 100% crit screen, which he should have been able to pop onto the Overseer who's running a Medigan. He's finally reconnected with Med Krieger. Is he gonna pop and drop the Overseer? Let's see. The crit is gonna be popped from Cliff. Yeah, oh no, the Overseer no, jumped into it, them. That very was nice. really well played. Very nice team coordination from the American team. They they knew that they had crits Greek and they just ran right back into him and then managed to take down the medic before the crits then it was able to do anything. And yeah, that's it's just really quite them. well predicted. Yeah, they, what they needed to do was they should have known that Stabby would have read that medic gun and they should have just somehow forced the overseer or did a lot of damage and made them retreat before they popped that crits creep to somehow like, catch him by surprise and that is not what Austria are doing right now. Stabby Stabby did go down so we won't be seeing any uh, crazy spy action so far. But uh, right now, uh, the USA are doing their really aggressive holding. You see lots of them holding clear private meter, Met Krieger, Riving, and Honey Badger all go down, which leaves Austria at 5 up. Yeah, and at the moment, the, the mini pa minutes just passed on the clock for USA, and that time is just so important. It goes by so quickly. People look for, people tend to forget it's only three minutes, and as, as we say this, um, Kefell is going to be arriving at the Zebra around this, this Crits Creek, even around the same time as the Overseer. But he obviously is just standing in front of a massive wall of meat. She's not I doubt she's gonna get hit by this. We'll I, I gotta happens. interrupt you there. Zalux there with a free K. I don't I don't know if that was a stick trap or not. But uh Kufiri oh, yeah. did pop his crit creek and it does get one person, which is Max with the remainder of that. The overseer pops back and they clean up so That's much nice that work. alongside with Ruin. Uh Zalux are dealing out the damage, Ruin getting a free K and cleaning up. And right now this spawn trapping Austria, they've got sticks outside the spawn. This is just yes. depressing now. Yeah, when you've got that that much play, it's just it's just more sense to go and spawn him. It's just delaying him even further. It's a, some people don't like the idea of doing it, but it's a valid tactic in Highlander. And as you see, the spawn comes faded, and they're just going to move back to their original forward hold. If my prediction goes correctly. Yeah, Austria were caught completely off guard there. Stabby Stabby picking off the rest of the team who were hanging around spawn as it was getting uh, sticked up by uh, Zalux. Now, the Overseer did actually go down yeah, we after that, that, which did pay uh, her team back for getting so darn aggressive. And Kufiri has now got 80%. I believe that's, yeah, that is <laughs> Uber Charge right now. He's pushing the cliff. Why is he there getting taken down by an ambassador headshot? 
and Metkrieger there going down as well. This is not what Austria needs to push onto the point right now. In fact, uh, Kafiri there going down to ruin on the clear. Yeah, as you saw there, Wine, because of the lack of heals, they were trying to get pressure onto those heavy classes. And Wine, he was just spamming the heavy with his ambassador, but Stabby Stabby just came right back at him, showing he's the superior 3,000 hour spy, and just headshot him, and that just allowed the heavy to get out, and another round gone. Well, I was expecting a bit more of a challenge from Austria, but again, that is no time capped on the point, bringing it to 2 0. The US only need one more cap to uh, win this map, whereas Austria need to uh, pull it back and win three times in a row. And uh, I wonder if they can do it. Now we're on to the third mid fight here. Yeah, as we can see, the soldiers are playing as they were. Met Krieg has already gone down, it's just, and so is Riving. Again, that's just going to take a lot of the pressure out, out of the American team. The soldiers gone down. And it looks like they're just engaging janitor mode, really. They're cleaning up all rounds. No one's died for the USA, and that's going to be a really comfortable point for them. As you can see at the moment, there's pressure from the spy, but he's backed out and pressure from putting up, and they're just going to move forward with that. Yeah, you can see that Kukuri did manage to get out of that mid fight alive, although he is very low. He has to run back to spawn right now because he's on 50 health. Right in there going down uh, to Arthur there as he gets all the way into the enemy spawn. Now you can see uh, that in fact the USA are attempting to spawn camp again. They are not letting Austria get out of the spawn yard. Max there taking down Tommy with a nice headshot. Yeah, as you can see though, Mac Tommy was obviously going to try and see if he can work some Wonder pick, as I say that, Max works as Wonder pick and takes down Kafel. That's just going to slow them down even more. It's exactly not what they need. But Max showing why he's considered one of the best snipers in any plat at the moment. Just taking yeah. down Tommy, even with that pink. Yeah, you can see Wainzy Metkrieger going down yet again. In fact, I believe that's the second drop from Max onto the Fury. So uh, that's a really quite aggressive positioning there. And I can see that Rune there getting picked up as he gets trapped on the stairs as he gets right into the enemy spawn yard. You can see Zalus there driving through that short gap. I have a feeling Austria won't be able to push through that. They need to find another way. Now the good thing about this US push is they're all up into uh, Austria's grill. And with that height advantage being pushed so deep in, uh, Austria is going to find it really hard to push out. They have gone out the right hand side. Uh, Tommy they're going down to backstab and stabby stabby. However, Winesy and Payne go down and yet again Austria only five up when they need to get enough people to push. Yeah, the problem is with the with their hold at the moment. It's the US is just holding so forward they're not allowing any anyone to get out. Oh, but Max, he just denies that straight away. Kefeld goes down, and that's just going to leave them with belly and heels, and the Uber comes off from Overseer, and that's just going to clean up. And a combination of Zalux, DJC, Arthur are just going to take down the remaining players and drill with one minute left on the clock. Oh, done. Yeah, Austria are definitely choking right now. You can see that yet again, Overseer is held onto the cliff with her heavy and dumb man. That's a honey badger going, trying to go in for bomb. Doesn't get one though, and uh, him and Wangzi do get gunned down. Yeah, thanks, Doc. Yeah, there's obviously the psychological impact of of holding forward for that many for that long. The USA are just denying any sort of space for Austria and that's obviously just going to have a psychological effect on them, they're just going to think no there's no way we can push out of this team, there's no way we can actually win this and that's just going to do more harm than good and um, I believe Grafell's building the Ruber just uh, around the same time sort of pace as it was there, it's going to be even but there just doesn't yeah, seem to be a lot of pressure. Yeah, Ubers are coming up to 90% from both teams. Obviously, I actually had to drop down into the dispenser there because she got pressured by a hunting badger. 10 seconds left. Come on, Austria. you got to do something right now. But it doesn't seem like it. The USA are getting all up into their face again, and they won't get enough people onto point as the Uber is popped in spawn yard, bringing it to 3 0 to Austria on this first map. Yeah, that was very fast. It just showed that the, dominant, the dominance of the players. And looking at the scoreboard, you can see that. Apart from the fact that there's just so many dominations coming out from the US team, the points difference, it just shows how much work that's actually been done by each team. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, all of the US team have beat, have outscored everyone on the Austri Austrian team, apart from the Medic, which just shows the amount of skills that they were getting, if anything. Yeah, that was looking... That was just uh, a lot more one-sided. How do you feel... Who do you feel was man of the match there? Well, man of the map. I feel that Zalox did a lot of work for, U for USA. He came, 
I think he took quite a few of the Ubers and he came up he came up trumps for them. He came up with top fragging. I'm pretty sure top fragging, but he top scored and he ended up dominating four of the Austrian team at the end of the map. And oh, apart from his sticky traps, um, he just seemed to deny a lot of it. So I, I would have to say him, but Max is a close second. Yeah, I'd actually say... Like from the USA Zalox from Austria, Tommy. Tommy was actually one to oneing with Max. Well, sort of. I guess the reason why Max looked like he was doing better was because, well, he obviously had a lot more space to shoot. I've actually got the logs up here, and I'm looking at Zalox, and he had eleven thousand damage and a seventeen, a seventeen KAD. And I know KAD doesn't matter, but seventeen is just absolutely impressive. The overseer there only died once as well. Yeah, as you can see, it's just the deaths of the US team in comparison with that of Austria. Like, obviously it died once, the heavy died, Arthur died three times, Zalox did a 22-2 to two KD, and that just speaks volumes, really. And I guess I guess the Viaduct map was a lot more DM-orientated, but yeah. Gravel Pit can often bring out the teamwork, and, and we'll see what happens here. It's a completely oh, different those? map altogether. Uh, for those of you who just joined us, this is you're watching Blackout TV right now. I'm Stanley Starmere here with Flood. You have tuned into Austria versus USA in an ETF to our Highlander Nations Cup match. We're in the group stages and we're on to the second map, which is CP Gravel Pit. The first map was won by the USA 3 0. Now, uh, Flood, what do you think of Gravel Pit as a map? You did say it's more teamwork orientated. Yeah, as you can see, Gravel Pit is it's it's not very fa it's a love hate map. A lot of a lot of people don't like it, but it's one of the it's it's obviously you can see from the points that you've got to cap all three points in order to win, but you can cap A or B first, it's your choice. A lot of teams prefer to defend B, which is a really common tactic nowadays because it's so much easier to defend, it's a lot less open. And that's where I think that the map is won or lost. It would we'll see. There are obviously varying tactics coming out, but we'll just see what happens. Obviously, the DM's going to come into it, but it's. Well, I'm. I'm not sure if it's played as more in America or in Europe in the Highlander in Highlander, but it doesn't come up very regularly in after well, which may mean that some of the Austrian players may not have as much practice at it. I might guess, but it's it's a regular feature in UGC. Yeah. Uh, for attack and defense, often we see CP still favored more because people feel like it's a more balanced map and uh, in opinion polls it actually does take precedence over Gravel Pit. But uh, it is definitely nice to see it played again in Highlander because it hasn't been... It's been a while actually since I saw Gravel Pit. The last time I saw it was uh, SN SNSD versus Dara Tutu in the last Highlander season. Yeah, I... But I yeah, I believe it was also in season four of ETF2L. Uh, it, yeah, obviously, and um, I didn't personally get the chance to play on it, but um, I hear it, I came up against some really good teams. Some really good plays were made on it, and it can be a very exciting map. Just a lot of, what a lot, of, a lot of teams don't like is the long cap time on each point. Yeah. Now, uh, for those of you who are unaware of how this game mode works exactly, this is an attack defense attack and defense map which uh, works the stopwatch game mode. This means that Team A, or the blue team, have to cut three points as fast as they can uh, and set a time for Team Red to beat well, Team B once the colors get switched over. And it's played best out three. So uh, the first team to two wins of each uh, stopwatch round wins the map. Yeah, and I personally think this will be a very interesting. Uh, some people to be very interesting to look at would be Tommy and Max. This obviously is quite can be quite a wide open map at points, and um, there can be a lot of huge sniper plays. And it'll be interesting to see how Tommy and Max do on it. I think yeah, they could definitely. be quite top scoring. Yeah, this map is absolutely awful. As a as a heavy a medic main, it's just the sight lines for snipers are just so OP. You know, I often bitch my team when I play on this map. I'm not gonna lie. You, yeah. you must do too as a medic main, surely. Yeah, the sniper lines are infinite and never ending. But <laughs> um, I've seen spies do a lot of work on this map as well. It can be down to people playing, just missing things, but. 
there are there are two very good pyros on each team. Obviously, Pudding Cup's the most more of the most famous one. I believe Private Meta is a is a more of a sixes player. I believe. Yeah. Correct, believe me to correct. Feel free to correct me <laughs> if I'm wrong there. But um, yeah, they've read it up now, and we'll just see what the Austrian team will have to do for defense. Ah, oh, okay, so I'm gonna bring it right back again. Uh, we are here with Black Hat TV and Sony Starmere here with Flood Co-Casting. We've got uh, Austria versus the USA in the ETF Duo Highlander, uh, Highlander Nations Cup uh, match. And right now we're over in round one of map two, which is CP Gravel Pit. And we have Austria defending first and the USA attacking first. Now let's see what sort of defense Austria are gonna put up. Yeah, as you can see at the moment, Met Creek is laying down his stick. He's just kind of standard sort of thing to do. Um, one thing to note, though, in the last match, D DJC was playing Soldier, but um, this time around, it's Scarlet. Whether it will bring a change in the sort of gameplay of the US team, we don't know, but early 10 seconds to start, and um, it just seems a very standard setup from Austria at the moment. Oh, Scarlet. Scarlet is an amazing soldier. I believe he was All Star either last, no, two seasons ago or last season. Um, but yeah, he was, he was absolutely like quite amazing. He plays for the Overseers uh, Sixers team. But anyway, we do see the USA pushing out. That's Zalux there pushing out to point A. Ruin there getting taken out by Honey Badger, but Zalux there catch, uh -huh. catching uh -huh. Honey Badger as well. And uh, I believe most of yeah, most of USA are actually pushing towards point A. And Max there trying to get onto B. does get taken down by Pain. Yeah, at the moment it looks like the US if I had to predict anything, it would be that they're going to go from A through C, through C, and maybe it's a, a spawn camp or something like that, and then focus on their attention on B. But it seems that the Austrian team are very heavily set up. Um, I don't think they've gone for the teleporter sort of strat on roof that some engineers might like to do. But Stabby Stabby's already looking around there, and we'll see. We'll see if he comes into play later. But I think he's been spotted out already. I'm looking at the US team, they've actually gone for the A to B cut there through the tunnels and right now they've actually gone to the low ground. I guess they uh, didn't want to risk uh, people looping back around them. Now they're getting super duper aggressive now, putting cut there, taking down YZ and you can see already that Scarlet is already up on the roof. Zalux there taking oh. down Private Ma Mater, then taking down Riving with those pills. So that such a gun is getting pressure out and does go down by Zalux on the roof there. Yeah, you can see an Uber's been traded just now with the US get taking a lot better an Uber. They're just, they're just keeping the demo in check and they're going to try and control this area now. It looks like the sentry gun's gone down and most of the players are right back. But guys, focus the dispenser, that's the most important thing. But it <laughs> looks like they're just, they're taking control of B so quickly. And yeah, you can see some pressure on C as well. Yeah, Kafiri there was out. Oh, oh my god, that's the white today of a stab onto Zaylux from behind. He does get gunned down, but that does do enough. Uh, B is only just uh, getting up right now by a spy and uh, a few others on the point. Now we can see that because uh, Kafiri went down, it means that the Overseer has a good 50% Uber advantage right now. And she looks like she wants to push her team up through the top already. You can see that Arthur is already walking up and you've got no one. Oh no, you don't see Arthur going up. You can see... Uh, the heavy full red riving going up, but uh, surely the OBC is going to push in by a B. Yeah, I could have, I could have Max gets taken down by a few rollers there, which will just open open the place up a bit more for the Austrian team. But Uber's come in from um, Uber's come in straight away from Overseer, and they're already getting time on point. The Aust Austrians are bleeding, bleeding players, but then again, so, uh, there are some US players going down. Arthur goes down, which is going to really slow down things. As we saw before that the um, spy for Austria winds, he got a very nice stab on uh, Zaylord. He was doing a lot of work for them, and that may, may have been the thing that slowed them down. But there's someone on C. Yeah, that is, that's a pirate that's putting cut there. He air blasts his way up to see the Overseer tries to go up and you can see Stab stabbing Zelux as well. And that's actually 3 minutes and 6 seconds for 3 minutes. Very points. fast. That's, that's way too fast. That's even faster than half the normal time. Yeah. Because we usually see it capped in, what, 6, 7, 8 minutes? A lot of teams will be able to do it in that, but I've seen faster, but I've also seen many, many more slower. And yeah. we'll just see what the US decide to do on the setup. A lot of them are going to A, which is quite interesting. Uh, but we'll see what they do with that. They look like they might want to even defend A. But I guess yeah. they've got three I minutes. 
Yeah, all of them, I feel like they're getting really overconfident now. You can see some of them are trying to do that jump into spawn. Now, I feel like what Austria need to do, the main issue with Austria is, I don't want to call out names, but Kufiri. Like, his positioning has been kind of off, and when the USA pushed into B, I felt like he should have popped his Uber first instead of waiting for the USA to pop, because uh, the overseer milk uh, Uber popped for so long that it managed to do so much damage to Austria. But anyway, you can see Max there. Look at Max. Yeah, he's got Mac in a scope in on that spawn door. Does he get well, anything? He missed. No, he, he missed Max. I guess he can play his, complain about his ping for that. I guess he's let off the hook. But as you can see, us, the Austrians are making a solid push out right into the right into the Americans, and we'll just see what happens. I believe that's a level three being set up outside spawn. Yes, it is, and it looks like it's going to be a pretty fast looper train, but if not got long. Yeah, in fact, the USA were actually spawn camping into the spawn door. That's just plain disrespect there. Stabbing, stabbing Scarlet going down as the Uber is actually popped the bike and it out right now. But uh, right now, Austria are only four up, but they're still going to make a push to A. But Zalux is already in behind the Fury. Three hasn't noticed. He jumped onto that after they're cleaning up private meter with maxing down Tommy as well. And the Overseer still has that 100% Uber, yeah. and she's still sitting outside A. I think that's just going to keep slowing them down. As you can see, this. There's people people down for Austria. They're getting time on B, which is very smart. There's not very many people watching there. Max goes down to a nice play from Winesy, but I think Ruins go looking around B now, just to go and clean up. And he's got a soda buffer out. We'll see what he does with this. Yeah. I may just say Austria can still cap all the points in time, but you can see that Pudding Cup and Ruin are on the point. They have managed to clean up most of Austria. In fact, they're again only 5 up. Kufiri is at 40%, and obviously, it still has that darn Uber of hers. She's actually sitting in the AB connector right now. Her team keeps rotating between the tunnels, and who's that on A who's capping? That's Kufiri alongside with his demo and Mech In fact, Kufiri has switched over to Quick Fix and is currently on 90%. Yeah, but it looks like USA are just going to go straight up to them and t tackle this uh, A. They've already they've already lost a few players that got caught out just then, but you know, obviously it's popped to Ruba and yeah, Kefirli's running away with his quick fix, just str holding to his engineer for his dear life and he's going to get picked up, but no, he gets ruined, at least that's some consolation. <laughs> Ah oh, man, Kifiri there, he uh, due to Ruin, he held, hid in one of the huts and then when Ruin went for him, he got overconfident, he got uber sore and then, uh, to add insult to injury, he also spammed a Kaiwai bind. But anyway, now it looks like Austria are rotating over to B there, 46 seconds left on the timer, yeah, so they can't do this. Yeah, with the amount of cap time left, it's moving into almost dead time. They've, I guess they're going to kind of realise that this isn't going to go their way, unfortunately. The US have put up a really strong play and we've got to commend them for that, but it's just us, Austria, I do not think, are able to do this at the moment. Yeah, they might be able to cap B and they have got actually a level 1 century setup on B and uh, yeah, people do go down there, but uh, I guess that's just, that's just something to keep them going with uh, yeah. 10 seconds left on the clock. They've got the consolation there, obviously it's popped through, but and, I, and that's going to be Three, GG. Two. So, uh, yeah, that looks very decisive yet again as that first round of Gravel Pit goes over to the USA. Now we should be seeing a color switch right now, but the conflict hasn't quite caught up with it. Um, this time it should be the US's turn to defend first while Austria sets the time. So we're just gonna wait for teams to reconfigure that. Yeah, I guess I'll be doing MP switch teams rather soon. But what do you, what do you think about that game? Is there any player that's done, stood out for you from either team? <sighs> um, I'd say, like, I, I guess like, there's not really much I can see from Austria because they're having such a hard time just doing anything. And well, but from the USA, I can definitely say that Arthur is doing a lot of work as a heavy. I don't know, his positioning has been quite good. Also, Scarlet. Scarlet got uh, a few nice bombs into Kufiri. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give a shout out to Kufiri at, at that point because, um, of course, he got that all really crucial pick on Bruin, and we're never, and I'm sure no one's gonna let him forget it. But <laughs> we're just moving into the defense now, and. It's, America seem like they're going to favour that A setup, and they're running mini sentry. What do you think about that? Um, 
I guess a mini they're doing a more of a fluid gravel pit hold. Uh, you you actually see that a lot more in America where they try to defend both points. And yeah. because mini sentries are more mobile, like it you can obviously, you know, do it more. I guess the more the focus uh with this sort of defense is on the combo rather than on the sentry gun. It looks like they're doing is, the same uh, thing again. Max got his Machina take two. Will he get anything? He's still scoped, he's waiting. I think he wants that medic. No, he misses. He doesn't get anyone. In fact, Tommy there getting Zalox with a headshot. Stabby Stabby going down to Mechrieger as well. It actually looks like Austria have pushed over 2B. They predicted that uh, push from the USA. And now the USA are paying this. Ruin there is trying to get in, but some great six traps from Mechrieger taken down. Um, Actually, it looks like the USA have gone back through the tunnel right now. Honey Badger's getting taken down by those escape plan crits, and they've actually pushed all the way onto the point. Uber's ice change between both teams around B. Mass getting taken down by Pain. Who's gonna win this? Yeah, the US got a much better Uber on that, and that's. And Met Creek was just stuffed at that point. He just got completely taken. He got completely body blocks. But as we can see, Pudding Cup goes down to a nice arrow from Kufel as he as he leaves. And it just looks like no one's gonna cap they're not gonna cap a point yet. No, the overseer has got a good Uber advantage because Kufel uh, my bad, I thought that was an I at the end, but it's Kufel. Uh does go down, which will put her a good 40-35% advantage. Yeah, as you can see at the moment the Austrians they want that A point and I think they're just gonna go and stack it. Metkrieger's already setting up some traps at the A to B connector. So he's gonna catch out anything he catches out Stabby, but I didn't catch you with Dead Ring, yes he did, and he's going to be around causing havoc later. And there's already Max and Bruin there, yeah. So, can I just point out, uh, when did they go now, but also Kufel is running the quick fix. I was wondering why he was building so darn quick, but he is actually running the quick fix. So I wonder if they're going to try some jumping onto C strat with this, or if they know that they've got uh, some sort of advantage over an Uber with this quick fix. So uh, let's see what they do. Yeah, with the recent update to the Quick Fix, a lot of um, teams are seeing it as a more viable option to use as a medigun. And and that's like, oh, Max, he's just taken down Kefal, he's not going to have a chance to use that Quick Fix. We'll just have to see if it runs again. But as I was saying, the Quick Fix has now become a lot more of a viable option in competitive, especially Highlander. And there's even some questions whether it'll make an appearance in EU 6v6 next season. So, <laughs> That'd be quite interesting, but uh, yeah, that is the third drop. I'm going to use those speech marks as I say the word drop, because it wasn't really. And Austria are right now pushing through C onto the point. Although Lawson getting taken down, Pain, Metkrieger and Private Meter all getting taken down by a combination of Zalox and Ruin with his uh, soda popper. Yeah, it looks like the US are going to set up at, at B now. They've got a nice solid defense set being set up at the moment. They've Pretty much all of their players are just there and they're cleaning up anyone who is there quite easily. Kefel goes down, HB goes down, Manny goes down, and then Stabby takes down Pain, Mechrieger goes down, there's just so many casualties. Yeah, so right now Austria, Austria are bleeding out, that's what they're doing. Like Kufel just got super duper overconfident, sort of just strolled onto B. I have a feeling the Austrian morale is seriously going down the drain right now. As Alex has spammed so many sticks into the should I call it the spawn to B connector? He takes down private meter as well as someone else and Wangsy there getting taken down by Sigaboo as he tries to get some sapping action in. Yeah, I think at the moment the Austrians might have just conceded defeat. They're not there's one minute for there's there's very little time left for them to do much. They're looking at B now and it just seems like they're not gonna do it. They keep losing players. Kefel goes down to Scarlet and I think they might they might have just accepted defeat. It just seems like an unclimbable hill at this point. Well, what they need to do is they just need to force the Overseer because she, a lot of the time because Kufel goes down so often, she has uber advantage. If they just forced her, they'd have a much bigger chance of trying to crack that USA hold because they are just so darn confident and aware of each other. And you can see that actually Austria are trying to go in through long right now. Uh, I believe who's that? That's never mind. He goes down. Met Met Krieger Krieger. goes down to a mark in a headshot from Max. You see that Arthur there is uh, worth coming underneath long, trying to uh, do some sneaky heavy action, but doesn't quite manage to do anything. Private meter there with that crit flare on Scarlet. Yeah, as you said, the forcing Kithy obviously would be a lot more helpful for them at this point, but 
the Overseas is just positioned at the point where you can't touch her. It's just they're having so much of a problem actually getting to her. It's she, just not working. She got forced. She just got forced. She's oh, she now goes. by oh. Honey Badger. Yeah, she was oh, okay, that's that. fine. Honey Badger jumped in, and after yeah, nice job. She, <laughs> she went down to ten health, and after finally did take down Honey Badger. Now we have the Fury with a hundred percent Uber. Come on, Nostra, you cannot fuck this up right now. You've got such a big advantage. Mind that sticky trap by Zalox. Just push in right now. Yeah. Get super duper aggressive. And I think she's just gonna wait for the heavy and then go. Um, as, they, as we say, that like, the heavy was down, but he's up now, and they look like they're making a push to B. See, so the person positioning him at the opposite end of the point. Mechrig is going to do the right thing and immediately focus that dispenser, and they're getting time on point, sticking up. And we'll yeah. just see if they have any uh, movers pops, and we'll see if they can get over there. Yeah, she's uh, dodging so well right now. She surfs a pipe. She's so very hurt. Uh, you can see Kafiri there chasing her down with a crossbow, but doesn't actually get anywhere. Med Peaker there getting gunned down by Arthur as that Uber faded. Scarlet getting taken down by Honey Badger, but putting cup, uh, chips off Honey Badger as well. So uh, that was a bit of a fail push there. That was actually really good positioning by the USA. They just looped all the way around Austria, and they just couldn't find the Overseer. And now the Overseer has got 100%. Yeah, and, the principal uh, thing was that the Overseer actually stayed alive, and it was just impossible really. They, it, she stayed alive and she could dispense heals to her team, and they, she's just actually popped now, and popping out in the heavy when there's high ground there isn't really, isn't going to accomplish much, but Max takes down money, Stubby got, takes down pain. She got to about 70 health, so uh, a rocket or like a meat shot or a body shot could have taken her out. So I guess she popped to be safe because right now there's uh, two minutes, uh, two and a half minutes left for Austria to try and cap this. And again, they just keep bleeding out. Although Kifu does have again a 50% Uber advantage, so he has another chance to try and cap this point with his team. Yeah, and, I, and it looks it looks like the Austrian team is just going to make a move through that long corridor just there, and they they drop down now. They pop the Ruba, and we'll see what they manage to do with this. They're taking this advantage quite well, but they've got to make sure that the overseer goes down. Otherwise, he's just going to be able to get that Uber back, and then they're just going to they're going to get cleaned up. And they are Kufil goes down, overseer stays alive, and she's on a seven. She's I think nice and comfortable on seventy five percent. Although we can see Honey Badger off on the roof does lay a bit of damage on her, but not enough. That was, again, really good teamwork and coordination by the USA. They knew that they had the Uber disadvantage. They positioned themselves on the high ground by B to make sure that the Austrians could, would get a really hard time uh, making anything of that Uber unless they did something truly spectacular. Now we're coming up to one and a half minutes left, and Kufiri is about a 60% Uber disadvantage. You say Uber, but he has got the quick picks on. Why is he there taking down Max? Make sure that some spaces denied now. The spawn times are so very long, like 20 seconds spawn time before Max. Yeah, and at the moment, uh, Salox has switched to loose cannon, is just causing no uh, no end to the havoc on Met Krieger's health. They're pushing up, Bruins come in, and he's going to try and cause some havoc. But Aust Austrians are playing really passive at the moment. Uh, they just don't want to take too much damage. They want to consolidate, they want to get the suit back, and then they want to go. They'll know that that one minute mark's just gone, and there's not a lot of time at all. Mercury makes a big bomb onto the roof, but gets knocked down really, really low and is surely going to get focused down here. Does take down Scarlet in the meantime, which is a very nice pick. Ruin goes down as well due to HP, but Kefil goes down again. It's just it's just bloodshed all around. Yeah, in fact, we are seeing Austria with only free up at the moment. You can actually see that Zalx has switched over to Double Knight and did kill Manny with an Islander, which I thought was uh, quite amusing. Uh, but anyway, that that was an attempt by Austria to sort of quick fix jump onto the roof of the Devil Man and gain height advantage against Max there, leading out to a very aggressive private meter who uh, did get all the way into his grill. Yeah, with ten seconds left though, it just it's just going to if I think the Austrian team won't be taking this too seriously at this point. As you can see they've already switched to quick fix. Raven goes down, Winesy goes down, Pain goes down, and and it just and that's the end of the round. So uh, unless, so what Austria sort of have to do to try and win this back is defend uh, both points until uh, time runs out, basically, and they cannot let the USA cap either at point A or point B within one minute and forty-seven seconds. Yeah, if you see this sort of situation on Badwater, your teams will often find it a lot easier because they just have to cap maybe first point 
and if they fail that, they can always just um, go for everything in the time limit. But on this point, you have to split your team, otherwise they're just either going to stack one point, they're going to stack the other, and that makes it a lot more difficult for the defending team. Yeah, definitely. Now, they're going to just... They will just have to spread their defense across both points, and I wonder, are they gonna do? It? You can see Mechrieger has got some sticks all the way up by the, yeah, by the spawn to be connected. Although Stabby Stabby is held up right to that spawn door, and he's heard the sticks go up, so he's banned this uh, gunner call the active team. I think one thing to note is that the Austrian team, just before time had started, they were trying to do the exact thing the US were doing, trying to jump up into spawn, but. Unfortunately, they mustn't have practiced it as much as they're still all Saturday. And um, we'll see what happens as the US the team are going to push out. They've lost Pudding Cup, but it's a, py it's a pyro. They've lost a the scout as well. That might slow them down, but it looks like they're going to go for A. Kafil drops yeah, the, a heavy, though. Yeah, the Uber was forced there by uh, Scarlet and Kufiri does pop it, however his team are only 5 up at the moment. They've lost so many power classes without a heavy and without a devil man, so I question their ability to hold on to A with this, although they definitely do have the high ground. Why are the USA pushing A when the, when B is left so sort of wide open? I think they've realised this, although the Overseer is trapped in the tunnel right now with Winesy. She's trying to throw a crossbow in at him and she's still got this uh, Uber whilst the uh, Oh, man, oh she and she drops, but Stabby Stabby's just there on the B connector, and he's doing, and he's just putting time on, turning a few heads. Yeah, he is. He's uh, being rather pesky right now. You can see Ruin there with that. Is that a soda pop or force of nature? I believe he's using the soda popper actually. Yeah, he's uh, trying to get in onto A. The USA, no, they have this. I have a feeling they're uh, playing with Austria right now. You can see that level three being set up on that hut outside A spawn by Manny, the Austrian engineer. In fact, yes, the USA have pushed out onto B right now. Uh, that's, it's only Riving and the Devil Man there. There's not much you can do. Pudding Cup is reflecting grenades all over the place. Gets shot down by a headshot from Tommy. Yeah, and Bruins coming up at the moment. He's got his short stop out and he's um, he's cleaned up three players so far in B. As you can see, the, the Austrians did a nice job defending at that point. And now they've just got four minutes to hold for all three points, I believe. Yeah, at the moment the Overseer is capping the point with her Scout, Soldier and Engineer. Whereas the rest of the USA, where are they? They Max they getting taken out by a bomb from Honey Badger. Manny they uh, checking out bonus cup with that Wrangled Sentry which is still on hut. So yeah. right now, the Austrians have six and a half minutes to defend A, otherwise they're yeah. going to get this. Stabby Stabby jumps yeah, onto corrections. him and uh, gets stab onto Manny, but the sentry gun turns around uh, just in time. That was really good play there by Stabby. Yeah, and they lost their engineer, which is just going to leave the sentry gun also vulnerable. Arthur's clocked to sticky traps and the um, C to, C to A connector, but going to go down, obviously his drops are heavy. Bruin cleans up Mechrig, will that be a good enough trade? We'll have to see. Yeah, no Devil Man up is very important because that's no one who can spam sticks though, though no heavy is also important. And without putting up to air blast and back, I question how much I could do right now because that C to A connector is getting spammed by so much a red team. Tommy there taking down Zalux with a nice headshot. Sigafu there going down as well. The Overseer actually getting gunned down by Riding. The US could actually be in trouble right now. There's current coming up to five and a half minutes and Scarlet there trying to get on the point and get some capture time and uh, Arthur there actually gunning down his enemy heavy. So it looks like Austria have to move back to behind the point and the high ground, although Kufuri does have a decent 60% uber advantage. Yeah, at the moment the USA are 4 up, which is something that hasn't really happened in this game yet. They're really going to focus down that A point now. There's five and a half minutes left, and they just seem. And um, yeah, Kafirli is at his advantage. Um, over and um, it's the U it's in the US's hands to see what they do. Sigafu gets taken down on point, but Payne goes down for a nice crossbow from the overseer. HP <laughs> goes down. I wonder if that's enough to push on. But yeah, Manny going down to that mini sentry as well. Yeah, but it look at uh, Austria right now. Oh my god, Zalak said to get down Tommy with that Islander as Tommy got all the way up into his face. Now you can see lots of years are trying to do it right now. Kufel has got 100% Uber, does pop a bit early on his heavy and that man. They get the positioning back, but they don't get the kills that they need. And in fact, Zalak there has charge and charge out to uh, keep himself safe. Our yeah, and it just looks, and Kafil goes down, and could that be the beginning of the end? The heavy goes down, the demo goes down, the scout goes down, 
and it's, it's just a massive player advantage for the EOS at the moment. And with Max sniping at the Machina, they're not going to want to come through there. And it just looks yeah. like they're going to camp that door and then get time on point. Yeah, you can see that it's currently being stacked with five times, which is, I believe, the max amount that, it can, that a point can get captured by. There's so much spam from the USA going onto that CEA connect. In fact, some of the USA had totally gone points. Yeah, there was two up for Austria, and they knew that there wasn't really anything they could do, and um, they're calling GG the... So uh, that brings it to 2-0 on CP Gravel Pit, which means that overall it's... Uh, I believe it's a 6-0 point system to the USA in this. Uh, wow, what do you think went so well for the US, Blood? I think that they just got the, they just managed to focus down players really well. They they may have just come up with the best of strats. They just stopped the they managed to get Kefell down a lot. I could see him dying quite a lot, and maybe that's the problem with the protection, or maybe they just um, it was just really good players on the US team. Or a bit of both, but I think that was the key to the Austrian team's f uh, falling. Yeah, I'd have to agree with you. They just didn't seem to do so well with uh, transitions and team pushes. Um, I don't think there's really much to say. Man of the match? Oh, it's, I, I noticed that Max did a lot of work for the US. He, Although he didn't get as many points as um, some of his, his other team, he did do quite a lot. I noticed him getting at least a few med picks, but um, it's really hard to say. I think that it may have been Xalox. He did quite a lot of work, or it could be Arthur. What do you think? Ooh, I'd, I think I'm going to have to give it to Xalox again. Not because he did as well, but because the Islander was absolutely hilarious. If, if we're going with that, then I'll have to go with um, Kefel for his very nice um, Ubersaw kill on Bruin in the first round. Oh yeah, um, that, that was sweet. And I think that that's it, but what do you think of their group, if we can quickly go and have a look at that? Well, the USA are currently, I believe they're leading their group. They've got two victories so far? Yeah, I believe they have. Um, I, I think people would have to say that they're in Group B, they're probably one of the most dominant team there. I think they've yet to play Croatia, but it looks like they're on, they're on good course for winning that group. And, yeah. yeah I'm... And progressing through to the playoffs? Oh, they've, yeah, they've played Croatia... Oh yeah, my, I think that's my mistake. I, I believe they've actually already played um, Croatia and Portugal, having relooked at it, and they did. And yeah, there's two six nil victories, and that means the USA have won the group, and they'll be pro progressing to the knockouts, I believe. Yeah, but they will. Now uh, I think it's time to wrap it up. Do you have any final words to say, Flood? Um. I think what we'd have to say is good luck to with the United States of America. They've done their job here and they've proved that they're a team to contend with, even though they've got that ping disadvantage. And of course, commiserations to Austria. We'll hope, hope to see them next time. All right, then. Well, in that case, uh, you've been watching Blackout TV. I'm Stanley Starmi. I've been here with Flood co-casting with John on stream. You've just watched Austria versus the USA in an ETF 2L Highlander Nations Cup group stage match on Cough Viaduct Pro RC4 and CP Gravel Pit. Now it was one 3 nil and 2 nil to the USA so congratulations to them. Vods of this cast will be available on Twitch and YouTube and we do hope you tune in and join us again for some more competitive TF2 action.